starting out. In this video, we will explain methods of making deliveries without damaging products when performing freight handling for large home electric appliances such as refrigerators and washing machines. Let's all observe the important points in each process of operations and aim for no returns from customers. Important points when unloading freight. When unloading products from the beds of trucks, please be attentive to the following points. Do not climb onto the products. If you climb onto a product, your footprint will remain on the carton box and there is a risk of denting the upper portion of the product. When products are dented, they lose their value and will be returned, so please do not climb onto products. For heavy products that exceed 40 kilograms, Perform operations with two people. When one person performs transportation, there is a risk of hurting one's lower back as well as a risk of dropping products. Please try to use two people when performing operations for heavy products that exceed 40 kilograms in order to prevent lower back pain in workers as well as to prevent damage due to dropping the products. Further, when handling heavy products, it is possible to reduce the stress on your lower back by using a protective belt like the ones shown here. Do not hit products to the edges of truck beds. If you hit a product to the edge of a truck bed, not only will the carton box be punctured, there is a risk of damaging the product. When a product is damaged, it loses its value and will be returned, so please exercise adequate caution when unloading freight. Do not drop products from truck beds. If you drop a product from a truck bed onto the ground, not only will the box be crushed, there is a risk of causing product damage, warping, or breakage. When a product is damaged or broken, it will be returned so please exercise adequate caution when unloading freight. Important points for warehousing operations. When warehousing products, please be attentive to the following points. When moving products, use dollies whenever possible. Carrying products by hand comes with a risk of dropping products or suffering lower back pain. Please try to use dollies to move products whenever possible in order to prevent product damage as well as to prevent lower back pain in workers. When carrying products, do not hold belts with your bare hands. As belts are thin and stiff, there is a risk of injuring your hands.
In order to prevent hand injuries, try to carry products using items that protect your hands, such as gloves. When carrying a product on your back, carry it so that its rear side is against your back. The carton boxes of products have markings like this one. The side with front written on it is the front side of the product. Please do not carry with the side that says front against your back. As the front sides of products have lower strength, it is easier for them to dent. Please carry products with their rear sides, which have a lower risk of denting, against your back. When putting down a product that you are carrying on your back, lower it slowly. If you put down a product quickly, it can cause product damage or breakage. Please try to exercise caution and put down products slowly so that they are not subjected to large impacts. When pulling belts to move a product, pull the portions at the corners of the product's top surface. If you pull the central portions of belts, the belts will stretch and are prone to come off. Please try to hold belts at portions near a product's top corners. Do not touch freight with your knee when handling it. If you touch freight with your knee when handling it, there is a risk of denting products. When products are dented, they lose their value and will be returned. So please do not touch freight with your knee when handling it. Important points for product management. When managing products, please be attentive to the following points. Do not climb onto products. If you climb onto a product, your footprints will remain on the carton box and there is a risk of denting the upper portion of the product. When products are dented, they lose their value and will be returned, so please do not climb onto products. Wear a uniform when performing operations. When performing operations without clothing, there is a risk of injuries and sweat stains will remain on the boxes. When performing operations, please wear a uniform in order to prevent injuries as well as to keep products clean. Important points for shipment operations. When shipping products, Please be attentive to the following points. When transporting products in a small truck and placing products onto the wheel wells in the truck bed, make the wheel wells in the truck bed level using racks or other objects. 
If products are placed atop wheel wells as they are, the boxes will warp, preventing proper loading. The warping of boxes affects the handling of the products, so when placing products onto wheel wells, please be sure to use racks or other objects to make the surfaces level. When placing products onto the bed of a truck with no canopy, place a cover over the products. If there is no cover, the products will become wet in rain and the boxes will become damaged. Further, as there is also a risk of the products breaking, when placing products onto the bed of a truck with no canopy, be sure to use a cover. When securing products using ropes, insert corner plates or cushioning between the ropes and the products. If you directly secure products with ropes, not only will the carton box cave in, it can also cause denting. Be sure to insert corner plates or cushioning in the corners and take care so that the carton boxes do not become warped. When placing products onto gate panels for transportation, the sides of the products must be secured with ropes, so be sure to insert corner plates or cushioning when securing the products in these instances as well. When putting ropes onto products, Put them onto the same places that the belts are affixed. The places where the belts are affixed contain packing material in order to protect the products. For this reason, these places are stronger, meaning there is a lower risk of the boxes or products being crushed when the ropes are placed on them. When securing products with ropes, Please pay attention to the locations where belts are affixed and try to match the directions in which the ropes are secured with the directions of the belts. Important points when performing delivery. When delivering products, please be attentive to the following point. Do not load products on their sides. If you load a product on its side, not only can this dent the side of the product, in the case of a refrigerator, it can cause the compressor oil to flow backward and the joints of coolant pipes can become damaged, causing coolant to leak and preventing the fridge from becoming cold. Please do not load products onto their sides. Be sure to transport them in upright states. In closing, this video used images and clips taken at the Thai Market Large Home Electronic Appliance Sales Location Freight Handling Survey, which was carried out from September to October of 2014 in various areas of Thailand, and was produced as material to help workers at sales locations understand the important points regarding the freight handling of products. We hope this video is helpful to individuals at sales locations with regard to the freight handling of products.